Recordings include all of the evidence presented to the grand jury for consideration, but they don't include any statements or recommendations made by prosecutors from the attorney general's office. If you would um, explain to the grand jury what is depicted in these enlarged photographs that we see on the easels. Yes, ma'am. And starting with um, exhibit one. The recordings begin with exhibits and information, layouts and pictures of the crime scenes, names and photographs of everyone involved. Exhibit nine. This is photographic Brianna Taylor. Uh, she was the occupant in apartment four at the time of the incident. Over three days, prosecutors with the Attorney General's office questioned their own investigators and played interviews done by LMPD's Public Integrity Unit. Jurors heard audio from officers who were on the scene, including John Mattingly, Mike Nobles, and Miles Cosgrove. We were asked that, uh, to please knock and announce and to use our maturity as investigators to get into this house. To, that, to not basically hit the door. The recordings also include an interview with Detective Brett Hankison that has never before been released. Hankison tells the PIU officers knocked on Taylor's door and announced themselves before busting the door down. He explains he saw a figure armed with what he believed was an automatic rifle. I saw that threat target and then uh, the, the muzzle flash from the gun. Hankison says he ran to the other side of the apartment building and could see flashes from a gun inside. Believing his fellow officers were being ambushed, he told investigators he fired through Taylor's patio door and a bedroom window. At that time, to protect myself, to protect my, my, my partners that had already been shot, I returned fire through the window. And as soon as I returned fire through that window, in the grand jury recordings, jurors can be heard asking investigators questions about the sequence of events leading up to and after officers rammed Brianna Taylor's door. They also asked whether money or drugs were found in her apartment, why officers didn't have their body cameras turned on, and whether there was a plan for serving the search warrant. Was there a formal plan between the seven officers as they made approach to the to serving the warrant. I'm not aware of one. Cameron's office says statements and recommendations made by prosecutors were not recorded and the only charges it appears they presented were against Hankison. Want an endangerment first degree, count one, count two, and count three. Now, one investigator with the attorney general's office alluded to the fact that there may have been issues with how the search warrant was obtained, but he urged the grand jury to focus on this investigation and said the officers who served that warrant were acting in good faith. Denny Camper, WLKY News.